in the previous tutorial we have learned some basics about the brick scan now in this tutorial we will create some drawings based on what we learn in previous tutorial we will be creating this drawing this one this one and this one so let's start with this first drawing start brick scan and select 2D drawing or drafting. If you don't have any one of them, then select this profile presets, select drafting profile, select the unit, I will keep MM, click on drafting profile. You can change the name or you can keep the same. Click on OK. I already have it, I will say yes. Then I will select this drafting and click on new drawing. Then to create this drawing, we will use the line command. At first we will create this horizontal line. Length of this line is 30 plus 20 plus 25. That is 75. And length of this line is 20 plus 15 plus 30. That is 65. Take the line command, give first point, take your cursor away. Now this line is coming straight automatically. If at your end it is not coming straight, then you will have to make this polar on. Plus you will have to right click on it and click on setting and set this polar angle to 90 degrees so that your lines will come straight. Close it. Then give the direction and give the length of 75, enter. Take your cursor above, give the length of 65, enter. Zoom it. Then length of this line is 25 and this line is 30. 25, enter. Take cursor below, give 30, enter. Then length of this line is 20 and this line is 15. 20, enter, take it below, 15, enter. And this is 30 and this is 20. Take your cursor on the left side, give length of 30, enter, take it below, give the length of 20, enter. And to stop the line command, press enter again. So this object is ready. Then to start the new drawing, click on this plus sign here. This drawing to is started. Now this drawing we will start from this point and we will create in this way. At first we will create these two lines of 20-20 length. Then we will create this line of 30 length and at the angle of 30 degree. Take the line command, give the first point, take your cursor on left side, give the length of 20, enter, take it above, give the length of 20, enter, zoom it, then take it on this side, give the length of 30, then to specify the angle, press tab button. Now in this case, this angle is 30. That means if we calculate angle from this horizontal line, this angle will be 180 minus 30. That is 150 degree. Give the angle of 150, enter. Then take your cursor on this side. Give the length of 30. Again tab for angle. Now this angle. Now this total angle is 60 and if we create horizontal line and if we measure angle from that line this angle will be half of this that is 30 degree. Specify the angle of 30, enter. And again take your cursor above, give the length of 20, enter. Take it on this side, give the length of 20, enter. Zoom minus, pan it. Then on this side, Give the length of 30, then press tab. 
for angle now we will have to work out this angle now here we need angle from this horizontal line this angle now we know that this angle is 60 degree and if we draw vertical line here and if we measure the angle this angle will be 30 and if we draw horizontal line here as this angle is 30 that means this angle will be 60 that is 90 minus 30 as this is 60 that means this will also become 60 so we will specify 60 angle here 60 enter take your cursor below give the length of 30 then again press tab again here angle will be the same that is 60 enter now here it is not showing the straight line to make it show the straight line take your cursor on the end point don't click there and take it away so yeah, now it is tracking it and showing the straight line then give the length of 20 enter take your cursor below 20 enter again on this side length is 30 again press tab now here angle now we know that this angle is 30 that means if you draw horizontal line and measure this angle this will be also 30 so give the angle of 30 enter and on this side 30 tab now as we know angle from this horizontal line to this inclined line is 30 degree that means this remaining will be 180 minus 30 that is 150 degree enter and again take it below your length of 20 on this side 20 enter and take your cursor below pan it above give the length press tab now this angle that means we want this angle now we know that this angle is 60 as we have seen here as this angle is 60 that means this angle will be 180 minus 60 that is 120 degree so give the angle of 120 enter and close to start point enter this drawing is also ready you can click on this plus sign this will start new drawing then next is this one now this triangle is equilateral triangle of 60 length that means this angle will be 60 degree that means each angle will be 60 degree again click on line give the first point take your cursor away then give the length of 60 enter zoom it take your cursor on this side give the length of 60 then press tab as we have seen that this angle will be 60 as it is a equilateral triangle that means this angle will be 180 minus 60 that is 120 degree enter then you can also click on this close so that it will close the start point and end point and it will stop line command automatically and next will be to create these circles of 10 10 and 15 radius click on circle center radius give the center point give the radius of 10 enter you can also press enter to repeat the last command press enter give the center point give the radius of 10 enter again enter give the center point give the radius of 15 enter and next is this circle now for this circle at first we will need to locate the center point to locate this center point we will create one line from this end point to this midpoint and one line from this end point to this midpoint so the intersection point will be our center point for this circle click on line give the first point click on this end point and click on this midpoint enter again enter click on this end point and this midpoint ok we made some mistake click on undo then click on this midpoint and enter then click on circle command give the center point now we don't know the radius of this circle what we will have to do we will have to touch it to this midpoint click on this midpoint then we don't need these two lines 
give the erase command click on erase and select this both lines and press enter this drawing is also ready again click on this plus sign and next drawing is this one in this at first we will create these two circles of 20 and 30 radius click on circle give the center point give the radius of 20 enter again enter give the center point give the radius of 30 enter zoom it then create one horizontal line of 90 length click on line give the center point give the direction give the length of 90 enter enter so we have created this distance of 90 then create two circles of 10 and 20 radius click on circle give the center point give the radius of 10 enter again enter give the center point give the radius of 20 enter and we need to create two tangent lines for that again click on line now here it is not showing the tangent object snap to select the tangent object snap press shift right click and select tangent from here snap to tangent and click again shift right click snap to tangent click and enter again enter shift right click snap to tangent click again shift right click snap to tangent click and enter then we don't need this line we can also give e for erase and enter and select this line and enter in this way all the four drawings are created in the next lecture we will learn some more basic commands thanks for watching we will stop here